Today's lesson is about work group management or the work groups. You can find them under the admin section again, under resources, and then work groups. Um, you can choose whatever kind of thing you want to do here. Um, it does not, uh, it's not a critical thing to have Autodesk set up, but it's a, it's a handy thing when you want to use it for the dispatches workshop. That's what we kind of found out. By default, as you can see, there's no rule group assigned. Uh, I'll create new and I quickly show you uh, what we did. So a good one is basically you call it your technicians. It could be your help desk technicians. Um, that's going to be your work group. We can maybe here for the help desk. Then you have your second tab where you have your resources. It says uh, to save. It's a good question to not forget about saving. Then we go to resources. There's nothing here. And then you press on the button add. And that's where you can select the resource. Now this, this section does not have too many uh, resources added. So we just used in this case the, the, the administrator that's in there. It could be a work group lead. It's not really an option. You don't really have to check it. So select the user that you want to add and press save and close. And once that is all set up, you can press save and close. Now later on, I'll show you in the dispatches workshop uh, where it's going to be handy to add these, uh, this work group and, and the, the, the handiness of it. So you can put a couple of uh, the help desk users, in this case, the help desk resources in this work group name technicians. And then when you want to do the dispatches workshop, you just select it by the work group name and you have right away all your help desk uh, resources in, uh, in one view on the calendar. Uh, it's again depending on the work uh, what you do and and uh, the kind of reporting that you want to do uh, that's kind of where you can use this one there are several several other sections what you can use too so our advice is you can start with autodesk uh, without this uh, it only comes in very handy when you use the dispatches workshop and you want to quickly group those items on uh, on uh, on the screen on the calendar and in the dispatches workshop i'll show you a little bit more on how to do it uh, just remember that whenever you add a new resource uh, to it you manually have to always add it to this particular work group. Uh, so it's not an automatic thing that once you create a new resource in the same as another one, uh, you have to manually uh, update this list. The same when a resource leaves, you have to manually remove it from this work group name. And that's why it's a little bit impractical sometimes. I hope that explains the, the, the workings of the work groups. If you have any questions, comments, join the, go to our Facebook group and we'll get back to you.